Welcome to Clearview Outdoors. On the next few videos I'm going to do, we're going to go over some tackle, some tackle storage, uh, tackle rigs, uh, different types of tackle that we use when we're out tackling these catfish. Stick around. We got a fish on. See you, buddy. All right, in this video, we're going to talk tackle storage. I want to talk to you about this tackle bag right here. These bags are not just for bass fishermen anymore. They're also for cat fishermen. Uh, this bag I will take with me on my boat, on someone else's boat, anytime I go cat fishing. This bag is going with me. So we'll just start right here in the front pocket. I keep my leader line, scissors, pliers. Uh, some sinker line, my scales, and I'll throw other stuff in there sometimes, uh, like a light if we're going to be in the you know be in the dark some. Uh, I have a pair of fish grips on here, so if I'm on someone else's boat, you know, I've got my own grips. Uh, I keep a bobber on here uh, in case I need. A bobber, it'll snap right off of there. Because what I love about this uh, bag is that I can keep all of my terminal tackle in here without it spilling out. Um, I used to carry, you know, the hard, the hard cases had a little back a uh, little pack had a little pack that I would have a couple of these in and have all my different different uh, terminal tackle but it never failed you know you'd, you'd have that thing open tying a rig or something you get busy doing something else or get a fish and bam it gets knocked off tackle goes everywhere and then you got spend time picking it up so here we go so as you can see i've got my different swivels got my three-way swivels got just regular swivels i've got ball chain swivels right up there um, i can zip that but they usually stay right there so i don't i don't zip them up um, i got my quick clips a couple different style quick clips some uh, ball bearing or some um, swivel clips i got some glass beads i've got uh, some rubber beads i like using the rubber beads got my sinker slides here i do keep them zipped up because they will come out got my uh, line rattles in there um got hooks Different hooks back in here. Got different styles of hooks in here. Different ones in here. I've got some pink demon dragons. Pinky and the Shad. You can't beat them. Uh, some peg floats. Some other types of demon dragons. Um, even have some balloons in there. <laughs> and then, uh, then I have pre-tied rigs. And the reason why we pre-tie rigs is because most of the time, any place we go, we're looking at least an hour or better to go to the river, some of the lakes that we fish. Uh, we go to Lake Erie, we're looking at a three-hour ride. Um, if we're blessed to be able to go down south, you know, you could be looking at eight eight-hour plus drive. So we're, we're always trying to maximize our time. So we pre-tie our rigs and... Um, for different situations and just makes it quicker when you break off you just throw a new rig on I use those quick clips huh, that was still a little wet must have been really wet when I put it up <laughs> um, anyway it saves time and it just keeps everything so organized and I'm, I'm not chasing after my tackle everywhere so I just want to share that with you. Um, that's one of my favorites. Favorite bag. And then 
then I even have these smaller ones for like some um, you know special special lake like Hoover you know this is Hoover but it'll also apply in um, Rocky Fork or uh, Lake Erie but it's just rigs that have been proven for me up there that work and I have them right there I have them ready if I have a break off I can just change it right out or if I go up there and I've got different rigs on I can swap them over these same with the uh, you know, channel cat that that definitely goes with me when I go to Lake Erie or Rocky Fork um, it just just saves me time and keeps all my stuff organized and I hope this tip will help you all out um, I'd like to do some rigs some of the rigs that we use that we found very proven uh, we have one that's very special to us that works very very good and uh that'll probably be on the next video so come back and and be with us on the next video we appreciate you here at clearview outdoors um like subscribe share with your friends and uh, we'll see you on the next video see you buddy